Hi, I'm Alex from phbacademy.org and in this video created for the new Boston, we're going to be talking about um, upper and lower case conversion in PHP. Now, let's first of all just take a look at um, a simple string. So I'm going to say, I am, um, or I could be any case. Um, okay, so this string um, could be user user supplied data, it could be anything really, um, but in this case we're looking at a static string that we've just created. Now what happens if I want to create this string completely lowercase? Now we'll look at an example of how we can do this first, the same with uppercase, however we'll also then talk about why this might be useful in real life situations. So string lower, I've created a new variable and this is equal to str to lower and then in brackets we add the string that we want to convert Ooh, with the correct dollar sign so essentially what we've done is create a new variable here we've used a function here called str to lower so it's quite easy to uh, remember and uh, we've supplied it with the argument string so we're converting this string to lower case so now what we can do is underneath is we can echo string lower so let's preview that in our browser and see if that's worked and you can see it um, has in fact worked. The I was capital before, as you can see here, uh, and it's not anymore. So for example, I could say I could be any case. And if I refresh now, you see that we get exactly the same result because whatever capital letters are there, we're converting them back to lowercase. So now let's try the same, but with uppercase. So we're gonna create a new variable underneath here called string upper. And that's going to be equal to str2, and you probably guessed it, upper. And then we supply it with the same data, so string. Now let's just change this output, so we're echoing the upper rather than the lower. And we can refresh and see what happens. Oh, um, let's just have a look here. I think I've sub yeah, too many p's in that one. Okay, so let's refresh. Okay, so now we can see that our string has been converted to completely uppercase. So it's extremely simple to convert from lowercase to uppercase, from uppercase to lowercase, and from an, a user user typed text to any case as well. Now, why would we want to use these functions uh, inside of PHP? Now, I'm just going to be focusing on the str to lower uh, just for the moment. And we're going to create a short program that demonstrates this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form uh, with an action and a method. So we're going to post that as get or submit that as get. And the action is going to be index.php. End the form there. And we're just going to take one line of user data. So um, let's say um, name. Oh, what am I doing? I'm starting a link for no reason. So input type is text. Um, the name of this is just going to be user underscore name and then we can break down and we'll add a submit button Ooh, type equals submit and the value of that is going to be submit okay so let's just preview this now browser to make sure that everything's looking and working okay okay so the point of this example i'm going to show you is i want a user to enter their name and we want i want to perform an if statement on this user's name now if i was to type my name usually in here i might just type alex in lowercase but me personally i'd usually use alex with a capital a um as it should be written however how do you know how your user is going to enter a specific value into a text field you don't they could type alex they could type alex they could even say alex like that you, you don't know how people are going to type their name in so if you're taking generic data such as a name and you just want to perform you know a comparison of on it using a comparison operator you might want to convert it to lowercase so whatever the user types in you can always perform the check correctly so if it doesn't make sense we'll uh, carry on and I'll show you an example so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for the data so I'm going to say is if is set dollar underscore get uh, user name and the reason I've used get is so we can keep an eye on it in the uh, in the uh, URL bar at the top so I'm going to say and not empty um, dollar underscore get user name 
And if these two statements evaluate to true, or this whole st statement as a whole evaluates to true, um, we can reset the variable name here. This is just to ensure we don't uh, grab any errors outside of this, because if we were to put this username equals dollar underscore get username outside of this if statement, we'd probably have um, an undefined index error. So if you if you find you're getting errors undefined index, this is why, because you're setting a variable to something that may not exist, uh, before you do your checks, or well, you might not be doing checks at all. Anyway, so username equals uh, get username. So let's just echo that out so we can uh, preview this in our browser and get an idea of what's going on. So I'm typing Alex with a capital A first of all, and I'm going to click submit. Now, um, oh, it doesn't seem to have shown. Let's have a look what we might have done wrong. Username. Oh yeah, okay, so I haven't included my um, underscore there. So uh, let's just type that in again. I'm going to type Alex with a capital A, and I'm going to and I'm going to click submit. So you can see that's been posted back to us, We've, we can view it, and we can also keep an eye on, we've got a capital A up here, and then the rest uh, LEX is in lowercase. Now I'm going to type it in, uh, in completely lowercase, and you can see that both values here are updated. However, now what I want to do is inside here, uh, let's just take away that echo, I want to create a check to say if username equals Alex, so remember we're using um, a double equals here um, for a comparison, then I want to say, um, let's just say you are the best. Okay, so, um, I know, a bit of an odd example, but, okay, so my point is that if we um, were checking for the username, oh, this, this user's name that we've specified, now let's just type in Alex with a capital A again. Now, the result I'm going to get now is absolutely nothing. However, if I type in lowercase, we're now checking in lowercase just here. So, you know, it's only going to echo out you are the best if the user has typed their name, even though it's the same name. We're only going to get this message here, if you look, if it's in lowercase. So the simple solution is to create a new variable, don't convert this username variable, because if you if you need to use it later on or store it, you want to store it the same way the user has typed it in, but you want to use a comparison in your lowercase version. So you want to create a new variable for this. So user uh, name, uh, I'm going to say LC for lowercase, equals dollar underscore, oh no, what we can do is say uh, equals username, with the underscore, remember. However, we're going to enclose this in the str to lower function. So now what we're doing is we're creating a new variable called username. We're converting what the user's already typed to lowercase. And now what we can do is we can simply perform this check here. But we've still got the original value that the user entered, even though we've created a lowercase version. So let's just check if this works, which it should do. So um, with Alex in here, with the lowercase version, and we click Submit, it says you're the best. However, with the Alex uh, and the capital A beforehand, it didn't work, but now it does. And we can even just uh, do something silly like that and click Submit, and it still works. However, the point I wanted to get across, because we've created this new variable, now what you can do is you can specify uh, the variable the original way that it was typed. So even though we're, we're comparing only the lowercase version, you can still use the original version. So uh, let's just refresh. It says you are the best A, capital L, small uh, E, capital X. So uh, same with Alex with a capital A. And then exactly the same with a small. So it maintains the structure that the user has used to type it, whether it be this, this, or this, but we're performing the check on the name as a whole, so we're not taking into account the user's case, we're taking into account what they have actually typed. So that's basically a, a really uh, useful example of the str to lower and how it could be used in everyday applications.